Hello friends, welcome back to our lecture series on game theory. We were in the process of using best response analysis to identify Nash equilibrium. We did this for matrix games, but then that brings a question that what happens when we do not have a matrix game. Uh, we have a game where we are actually having a continuum of actions rather than just a couple of actions. So we use calculus in this situation to arrive at best response function and from that we identify our Nash equilibrium. So let's see one example how we do this. So this is uh, one example that I have taken from Osborne. This is also the, one of the textbook that we use in our uh, course here. So this is that two individuals are involved in a synergistic relationship. Both individuals devote more effort to the relationship. They are uh, both better off. For any given effort of individual J, the return to individual I's effort first increase then decrease. Specifically, an effort label is a non-negative number because you cannot uh, all you can do is you don't do anything. You cannot put a negative number. Uh, and individual i's preferences for i uh, player 1 and 2 are represented by the payoff function a i c plus a j minus a i. So this a i, uh, this is individual i's effort level and this multiplies with all this. Where a i is i's effort level aj is other individual effort level and c greater than 0 is a constant okay so how do we actually solve this so before proceeding to solve this let's write the normal form of the game uh, so there are couple of elements of the normal form of the game first one is players so we know here there are two individuals i and j then we talk about actions or strategies. So these are the effort levels that each player can exert. And these effort levels are a continuum. So it's a set of actions available, how much effort I want to put. And then there are preferences. And each player I's payoff function is representing his or her preferences. And this is given as payoff to player I is given as AI of c plus a j minus a i for individual i and j so now we have written the best uh, normal form of this game and we cannot actually denote this by a matrix uh, as an exercise try doing that uh, now comes the question how do we find the best response of each player so uh, we need to do some calculations so let's switch to uh, one note so what we do here so let's start with uh, solving this. So we have seen that uh, the payoff function is given like this ui uh, is equal to ai and blah blah blah. So I'm writing this payoff function here so that we can work on it. So this is ui is equal to ai multiplied by c plus a j minus a i uh, we have minus a i in bracket because uh, when you are putting in your uh, efforts you will be also getting some disutility so that's the negative thing that gives us a quadratic here so it will be uh, a i c a i a j minus a i square so we take this and find its first differential and set it equal to zero so and this is with respect to a i the for the individual uh, i is going to put so this will be c plus a j minus 2 a i and we are setting it equal to zero so once we do this uh, we can actually uh, write uh, 2 
a i is equal to c plus a j and then we can simply write r a i is equal to c plus a j by 2 and because the players are symmetric so this will be same for both the players so this is the best response function uh, it will look better if i write this ai here right so this is the best response function of the player one br function of player i uh, because players are symmetric since players are symmetric or we just follow the same process for player j we get aj is equal to c plus ai by 2 so this gives us the best response function of the player 2 br function of player 2 so now we have found the best response function so how we actually find the Nash equilibrium uh, both best response function have to be present together uh, simply this would actually intersect like we were finding a cell in a matrix game where both uh, actions were mutual best responses so from equation 1 and 2 we need to substitute uh, the value of aj in terms of ai so we are going to write half into c plus uh, c plus uh, ai by 2 so when we solve this we will get uh, half uh, 2c plus c plus ai whole by 2 so this becomes 1 by 4 uh, into 3c plus ai so what we are going to do now uh, we know that ai is equal to 3c by 4 plus ai by 4 so this becomes 4ai minus ai is equal to 3c uh, and then we have 3 a i is equal to 3 c. So what we realized a i is equal to c and similarly we can solve for j also that will also come uh, as uh, c. So we found our Nash equilibrium. So this is our Nash equilibrium. So how do we write it? We will be writing Nash equilibrium. You can write in full. I am just taking short form. AI AJ is equal to C C. Now interesting thing is that you can also show this visually. So how we do this? We need to plot these uh, equations and we will get our one intersection point that will happen at point c and we will get our Nash equilibrium so let's try to plot this so for that we need the shapes so i am taking this here now uh, let's take some lines so see uh, if we uh, we shall write here this is effort level by individual i 
this is effort level by individual g uh, let's say uh, that we have c here and c here so look at this equation we have uh, a i is equal to c plus a j by 2 so when a j is 0 individual g is not putting any effort individual i will put c by 2 so now we have our intercepts for uh, these uh, best response functions so one will be going like this and the other will be coming like this uh, intersection should happen at c so hopefully 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 uh, possibly yes so so uh, let's see that this is c uh, that's the problem of drawing on uh, oh, don't go so this is c here this point is c by 2 this is also c by 2 so then this is the best response function of player 1 for actions of uh, player j In player 1 we have called i so we are putting i here this is best response function of player j for the actions of player i so you can see that uh, i can take one any action from player uh, j here and where it hits this function from there i drop a perpendicular to ai axis that is x axis and i get the effort level for the individual i and similarly for the player j also so you see that this intersection is happening here so this is cc that is my nash equilibrium so we can visualize this also like this and we will use this visualization process once we proceed further with best responses uh, they will slowly become more and more complex and visualization will become more and more fascinating so uh, that's it for uh, finding nash equilibrium in a situation where uh, we are having a continuum of actions you saw that how you use calculus and found this.